Welcome to this introduction of CADAM 3D. My name is Martin Leclerc and I am the developer of this software. CADAM 3D includes a user-friendly interface for modeling complex hydraulic structures such as Gravity Dam, Gated Spillway, and Water Intakes. Stability analysis under static and seismic loadings are performed using the gravity method. For seismic calculations, either a pseudo-static method, which is known as the seismic coefficient, or a pseudo-dynamic, which is known as a spectral method, can be used. Although the details of the geometry are given in 3D, the loadings and stability calculation are essentially in the upstream-downstream direction. CADAM 3D performs nonlinear analysis along lift joints and base contact. Now let's concentrate on the gated spillway model. So you can easily define a section like this one using simple tools as foundation, spillway, and piers. Let's go into the foundation. As you can see, we have four segments here, which correspond to the profile of the foundation. These segments are, defin are, defin are defined from the upstream up to the downstream side of the foundation. Once your profile of the foundation defined, you will be able to specify the geometry of your spillway. In this case, we have used five segments. The first one is a linear segment. The second one is a circle arc, a power equation for the third one, another circle arc, and the last segment is a linear segment. We have a section depth of 47.5 feet, and that is quite enough to define the spillway geometry. Same thing for the pier again, segmentation in 2D format. And this is used here. Uh, we use eight linear segments to define our pier. The pier nose shapes can be easily defined using many, op many options, gate and slot where you have the option of having no gates, a vertical gates, or a radial gates, you can define as well stop logs, cross section, how a cross section would vary, you can modify that easily. And the geometry will adjust accordingly to your modification. Once you have defined your materials, you'll be able to define lift joints, which correspond to your analysis planes. So just to add a lift joint, just specify the elevation that you want. If you have a certain angle, and just create your lift joints like this easily. You can as well consult the geometry of your lid joint and you'll have the section properties as well with this dialog window. So once you have defined lift joints, you can have cracking of those lift joints as an initial condition, which you would use this option here. You can as well define galleries, additional volumes, concentrated masses, passive anchorage. For the loading case, you have reservoir levels. For operating level and for flood level, high loads. The, third, the, third, the two first high loads correspond to thermal expansion. The last one to a dynamic impact on the pier. Floating debris, sales pressure, 
post tensioning cables you can define them here additional forces you can define or if you unclick this check button then you will remove this force from the analysis earthquake loads you can select from the seismic coefficient or the two pseudo dynamic method which the first one is based on Chopra's method and the last one on Buonani and Miko method. So once all your loads are defined your load combination will be automatically generated by Canam 3D but as a user you can add as many load cases as you like Once you have defined all your options, either you want to consider cracking or not, how your tensile strength will vary, uplift pressure as well in, uh, in crack condition, and what are your criterions, criteria performance and safety factors, you can start the analysis. You can consult right away your results here, and then you have access to reports. So many type of reports are available. Three type of spreadsheet reports which correspond to input values, calculated load or load combination. Let's go into the input values. Just simply select the input value parameters that you want to consult and then you have access into this report of all the values that was used to develop your model. Same thing for the calculated loads. You can easily consult all your loads that has been com computed by the software. So you can have all the step-by-step -step results of your analysis. And the load combination. Sorry for that. Just realign the window. Same thing again. You can select which load case you want to consult. So you have all your stresses, uplift pressures, resultants here, and safety factors. All these Reports can be exported easily to Excel or printed directly to a printer. Stability drawing, which is a graphical presentation of all your key results. You can pretty much adjust the size. So you get graph of your normal stresses and uplift pressures on the upstream and downstream size. If you have crack lines, so in terms of percentage, they are presented here as a red line, and you have the length in percentage that is shown here. The cracking can occur on both sides, upstream and downstream, and corresponding to stress analysis is the stability analysis, where you have safety factors, sliding safety factors and uplifting safety factors for peak and residual. You have the normal resultant, the uplift resultant, the shear resultant, the moment and the center of the uncracked section and the resultant position. And this you have all those results for all the load combinations. That can be easily selected here. You can print this image, you can copy, save as a vectorial image. Finally, stress distribution. You can consult what are the stresses for a certain load case, for a certain joint, lift joint. And these values can be consulted directly here with numerical values. Hope you like this presentation of Canon 3D. Thank you for watching.